All right, good morning, everybody. This is the follow-up from our class yesterday. And at the end of yesterday's class, we developed a program. And the program intended to find the average of some numbers that were inputted, but the average was not being correctly reported. And I posted a challenge for you guys to figure out, but nobody figured out the answer. And it actually wasn't that hard. And the purpose of this activity was to show you the weakness of an array, which is that it, um, it can't be made bigger or smaller, right? When you pre-declare it, it's always going to be that size. And our situation here is there were five, the array was declared to be five slots big. But if we put only two or three numbers into the slots, because of the way an algorithm works here is uh, we were still walking over all five, right? So we were dividing the sum, which might have only been two numbers, by five, which was how many slots there were in the array. And yes, there would be a way to bail out of that prematurely. We could put a break statement. Maybe, I guess, when we got to the first empty array slot, but then there might have been a subsequent element of the array further down that we would miss. Anyway, the point of this exercise was to show you that arrays are not really a very good way to do things. And the next thing we're going to be working on now is using vectors, right? So we're going to use vectors. And um, yeah, so starting next week, we're not really going to be touching arrays anymore because they're, they're not that good. Maybe, I don't know, in a few situations, they're okay for something quick and dirty. But uh, I want you to study this code and see how vectors are used. And vectors are great because we can grow them and shrink them. Now, one thing we need to be aware of with vectors is you have to declare what kind of an object you're going to put there. So now that you guys are pretty strong in terms of understanding objects, you understand what it means, right? We're making a vector and we're telling the Java runtime that that's going to contain an integer. Now, one situation that's going to be involved in that later on, when we want to start popping objects out of our vector, we need to cast them, right? We need to tell the runtime what kind of an object it is because that information is not contained inside the vector. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, and go and play with this code and run this code from yesterday and make sure that you understand why it's not working because we're iterating over every element of the array even though maybe only one or two of those array elements contain a number. So when we take the sum and we divide it by the entire length of the array, we're not getting an accurate average and then study this vector-based code and figure out by yourself why this is working better. And we'll look at this together next week. Bye, everybody.